Members, Mr. Julian Camacho, Philippines. Mr. Peter Turkovic, Croatia. Mr. David Feigelson, United States of America. Jury of Appeals, Chairman, Mr. Sharif Mustafa, Egypt. Vice Chairman, Mr. Kim Fat Chong, Malaysia. Members, Ms. Lu Xiaoling, United States of America. Mr. Jin Xiaobing, People's Republic of China. Mr. Muhammad Reza Porgola Minijad, Iran, Chief Referee. Mr. Su Chong Lai, People's Republic of China. Assistant Chief Referee, Mr. Xiao Zhao Ming, Australia. Field of Play One, Head Judge, Nick Optenda, Netherlands. <laughs> Judge One, Huang Yanhui, Macau, China. Judge Two, Wing Hong Cheng, Hong Kong, China. <laughs> Judge Three, Yang Chi Zheng, Chinese Taipei. Judge Four, Leonid Borisov, Ukraine. Judge Five, Lu Guan Ong, Brunei. Judge Six, Willie Wong, Philippines. Judge Seven, Teru O, Japan. Judge Eight, Li Min Hua, Sweden. Judge Nine, Omar Rodarte, Mexico. Judge Ten, Argahavan Jalali Farahani, Iran. Judge Eleven, Jennifer Gu, Canada. Routine Inspector, Rosalind Kwok. FOP2 Head Judge, Rong Jun, Switzerland. <laughs> judge 1, Noah Barrio, Spain. Judge 2, Kyung Hee Bae, Republic of Korea. Judge 3, Celia Nguyen, France. Judge 4, Kevin Law, USA. Judge 5, Elizette Toledo, Chile. Judge 6, Tio Su Long, Singapore. Judge 7, Tong Shao Bo, Netherlands. Judge 8, Lee Quang Hui, Vietnam. Judge 9, Wang Xiao Na, China. Judge 10, Avidis Seropian, Lebanon. Judge 11, Lim Kim, Malaysia. Routine Inspector, Justin Eggert. Field of Play 3, Head Judge, Zhao Bing, China. Assistant Head Judge, Marcus Vinicius Fernandez Alves, Brazil. Judge 1, Tao Wang, USA. Judge 2, Bobby Hongliang Yi, Philippines. Judge three, Joanna Monica Skamla, Poland. <laughs> Judge four, Winston Licko Winster, Netherlands. Judge five, Michael Sholin. Let us welcome the athletes. Welcome y'all to Lone Star State, home of Longhorn Counter and Dr. Pepper Soda. We're here in beautiful Fort Worth, Texas, and ready for some wushu. I'm here with my friend and yours, the affable Alan Ping. Alan, what are we looking at this morning? Well, Chris, today we have a very action-packed morning. We are starting off strong with men's nantran. Nantran, southern fist. 
quite fitting for Fort Worth, Texas, eh, Alan? That's correct. Southern Fist and Southern Barbecue. Yes, sir. All right. Today, to start us off, we have from the Netherlands, Andreas Mokkerl. First yell of the morning, Alan. Yes. And second. That setting definitely up. woke me up, Chris. Mm -hmm. Setting up his non-do. Big O jump outside the horse stance. Wow. 540 to jump front slap, single foot landing. Saw a traditional block and arrow palm there. for another jump. Jump inside, 360 to butterfly stance. Slight stumble. Let's see if he can recover. Jump outside, 360. Andres Mockel so showing us his strength this morning. Very yes. strong movements, a lot of power, a lot of fighting energy. <clears throat> and finishing with an empty stance. Of course, for the empty stance, we want the majority of the weight to be on the back leg, the front leg, toes up, or rather heel up, toes on the ground. Thus, the uh, front step is empty. Hmm. I didn't know that, Chris. I'm a man of the people, Alan. <laughs> now, I hear the expression northern kicks and southern fist, Alan. Can you tell us what that might be about? Well, watching the, uh, the long fist, oh, sorry. 8.850 for Andres. Rock solid performance. Unfortunately, he did have uh, several deductions. Code 70 for loss of balance. <clears throat> Up next from Korea, we have Yongmun Lee. He's one of the athletes that you want to look for. Korea bringing just a powerhouse of athletes to us this year, Alan. That's right. What I really enjoy about these Southern styles is you see them using these unique hand techniques, really challenging the, the uh, energy of the animals they're imitating. Wow, <laughs> Tornado 540 to jump Gainer into Scorpion's dance. And now we're really gonna see him showcase his southern, southern strengths here. Wow, the ferocity. Some artists paint with oil, some with pen and paper. This man uses his fist and kicks. Beautiful tornado fall. Gets right back up. He has huge biceps. Yes, sir. Wow, very strong finish. Very strong beginning. 
Very great showing for Korea. I tell you, there's nothing subtle about Nandra and Allen. <laughs> 9.403. <clears throat> Very good score. And up next, we have Philippines athlete Thornton Queenie Lu Sayan. Very strong opening. Set up the first non-do. Back tuck to butterfly stance. Jump outside. Jump inside to gainer. Wow, such a clean landing. For those of you watching at home and wondering how exactly this is scored, there's actually three groups of scoring in, in Wushu. Uh, first would be the quality of movement. That would be things like your stances, punches, and kicks, your, your martial techniques, and your basics. That's worth a total of five points. Uh, next you have what's called the overall performance. We're looking at speed, power, really the athlete's flavor, his own individuality that he brings to it, and his own athleticism that he brings to it. Wow, did you Finally, see the height on that? I tell you, man. Sorry. <laughs> Finally, we look at the degree of difficulty. Those would be the spectacular jumps and landings and, and some of the balancing techniques that we see. That's worth a total of two points. Now, this high level of competition, Alan, we're expecting to see perfect A and C scores, and it seems like what's coming down to determining who's in the top three is always the, the uh, overall performance, the B score, which is worth a total of three points. That's right. We've been seeing a lot of 2.7s, 2.8s, and the B scores, phenomenally high B scores. Exactly. And with so many different athletes coming from all over the country, or all over the world, we're seeing so many different flavors and choreographies that affect their B score and just how they decide to choreograph the forms that best fit their personality. Wow, 9.76. I believe the highest score that I've seen this weekend was 9.8. I believe so. We saw that from, a, a, I believe, a long fist athlete from China. Correct. Or a Tai Chi athlete from China on my end. Yes, I saw a Chinese athlete in Daoshu. Spectacular. So the bar is set high. Well, up next, we have from Brunei, Muhammad, Adi, Salheen, Roslan. Also, another strong athlete I've had the pleasure to watch earlier Watch in men's non-dow. Wow, very strong opening. Back tuck, the butterfly stance. Jump outside 540, so much air time. Wow. It's so amazing how these athletes can jump so high, expand in the air for their kicks, and then tuck in for the spin. I know, they make it look so easy and so effortless. But I definitely don't recommend you trying this at home if you're watching Wushu for the first time. Nanchu, and it's my understanding that means uh, Southern Fist, is that correct? That's correct. Why Southern when we're watching all these movements? 
Well, they come from the southern part of China, like areas like Fujian, and they originate from styles like Hungar, Choi Bi Fat. You all even see some Wing Chun in there too. And I love that the athletes are bringing some of that southern China, Chinese kung fu to southern part of the U.S. I tell you, Texas. And you know, you mentioned uh, Wing Chun being one of the styles we may see here today in uh, today's competition. Wing Chun, of course, being made famous by the legendary Bruce Lee. Wow. An athlete from Brunei scoring a 9.74. Putting him on the podium for now. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the next athlete can top that. And up next, we have Ahmed Mustafa Hafez Mohammed from Egypt. I got to catch up with Mohammed. Uh, before the competition and he said that he had been training for 18 years and missed the last world championships just because of some clerical errors. But he's here today competing on the world stage. Jump outside 360, horse dance. Side tornado, jump front, single foot landing. Wow. Jump inside to butterfly. And now is where we see the athletes showcase their intensity in their second section. Now for those of you watching at home, there's a couple of rules we need to be mindful of with these uh, wushu routines. One is the minimum amount of time for your routine is a minute and 20 seconds. And for any time underneath that, we're looking at pretty large deductions. Also that white line encompassing the ring, that's the field of play. And if any part of your body, such as your foot or you know a knee or whatever, were to go beyond that line, you're also looking at another sizable deduction. So I got these athletes moving at a high speed and doing incredible leaps. They have to control themselves and stop their momentum, typically right at the line. And a strong performance from Ahmed Mustafa Hafez Mohammed from Egypt. Very great showing. Stand by and await the scores from the judges. 8.993. And up next, we have from Brunei, Madurano Joel Bin Majala Sain. It looks like he's got quite a bit of experience. We see that he's competed at the 2019 10th Asian Junior Wushu Championships, not Asian Junior Wushu Championships in Korea. And the first 2023, or he got first in the 2023 Southeast Asian Games. So I think we can come in with some rather high expectations of this athlete. So much speed and intensity. I tell you, blink and you'll miss it, folks. Big old. Back tuck. <laughs> Jump outside 540. Mm -hmm. Did he hold that horse stance long enough, Alan, do you think? Well, that'll be up to the judges to decide. Jump inside 540. He's getting massive air on these jumps.
know, Alan, watching these uh, non-trun competitors after watching yesterday's long fist, I'm noticing something different. With long fist, I was seeing a punch, a push palm, and a hooked hand, but with these athletes, I'm seeing like a, a clawing technique and a finger with the, or a technique with the index finger lifted up. Can you tell us about those moves, Alan? Yes, the, uh, the claw-looking shape of the hand is called the tiger claw, and there are actually requirements that the fingers must be bent a certain amount and the palms must be pushed out. And you're also seeing, seeing the single foot bridge, or a single fingered bridge. With the four fingers bent and the single pointer finger straight. And there are requirements for that too. 9.460. Good enough for third place as we stand. And up next, Steven van Lab Labicki from Belgium. Looking forward to seeing what Steven has to show us here today, Alan. Yes, that's, that's true. Starting off in a very low horse stance. You know, it's really interesting to see the different flavors from uh, these athletes from all over the world. You have athletes from Asia, Europe, even Africa, and they all have like such a different, different flair and many like small details that are just unique to their own personalities, I guess. You know, it's amazing to see how just one marvelous martial art can bring the whole world together under one roof. And everybody showing their own unique expression of an ancient art. Oh, very great intensity on his jumps. Now we There's see a traditional that. bridge finger. That's right. A series of ground techniques. I always enjoy it when the athletes change up their height, Alan. Mm -hmm. It just adds to the dynamic flavor of their routine. Exactly. We saw a traditional butterfly palm technique coming from uh, the system known as Hungar. Of course, Nanchun being made up primarily of three southern systems of uh, traditional Chinese martial art, that being Wing Chun, a very close range martial art, Hungar being a medium range martial art, uh, focusing primarily on, on strength, and Choi Lei Foot, a long range martial art comprising of many circular techniques, all comprised in one composite style that we see here to us, before us today, known as Nan Chuan. That was a great finish from Steven. Definitely a performance he can be proud of, Alan. 8.623. And up next, we have Ronaldo Rangel Rubio from Mexico. Of course, next door to us in the next field of play, we uh, have women's Jiansu. So over here we have the uh, hard crushing power of Nan Chuan, and next door, the ultimate refinement of straight sword play, known as the scholar of weapons, Alan. Mm -hmm. Preparation for his first jump. Jump outside 540, he stuck that landing. Back tuck to butterfly stance. Jump inside to Gainer. Seems to be landing his jumps, Alan. Yes. Jump inside 540 to the butterfly stance. And now we see when the athlete really showcases their fierceness and strength. Wow. Seeing lots of short range technical techniques, but with plenty of power behind them. Big old jump near the end, showing he's still got some gas in the tank, Alan. Wow. And a coil, black dragon coils around the pillar, folks. 
technique that's, we haven't seen in quite some time. That's one of the things that's going to really add to his B score to show his uniqueness and creativity. And that's what the judges are looking for today. I tell you, Alan, it's wonderful to see these athletes just reach into the box and pull out something unique. Ronaldo Rangel Rubio from Mexico, folks. Nine point three two three. Very respectable score. Yes, sir. Here up on next. the world stage. And up next from Japan we have Akito Matsukawa. From Japan. Very excited to see his performance. All the Japanese athletes this weekend have shown a very great routines. A very strong team this year, Alan. Very strong team. Mm, you can hear his teammates cheering for him. I hope you're cheering at home too. Jump outside 540. Jump inside 540. Plenty of air time on that jump. Back tuck to Butterfly. Lawless. Wow. Just melted into the floor so smooth. And he's staying right in front of the judges. He you is. know, that's like. One of the scariest spots because the judges can see every single detail. An absolute display of confidence, Alan. That's right. And that could be the difference from a podium spot and, and not. Let's see if he can bring it home strong. You see, see that tiger claw technique right there? Yep. And a very strong bow stance. Of course, the bow stance, they're wanting the back leg straight, both feet flat on the ground, front leg bent horizontal thigh, but the knee not exceeding the toes. Very technical on these stances, Alan. That's right. And you know I'm a, I'm a stickler for those stances. I tell you, it is the uh, basis and the foundation of all your martial arts technique. 9.60, good for third place. And up next from Spain, we have Alden Poz Martinez. I think we just heard that kick across the building, Alan. I know, I was gonna say the same thing. I, I felt my, my seat shaking for a little bit. Yeah. My teeth definitely rattled. <laughs> Whew, and that one too. Oh. Unfortunately, had a little bit of problem controlling the momentum at the end of it. Yes. The uh, hand on the ground could cost him a deduction. But let's see if he could refocus and finish his routine strong. Flurry of fast techniques, showing speed and power. Jump outside, 360. Very late into the routine. I tell you, just showing he's still got some left in him. At this level of competition, Alan, it's all about taking a risk. That's right. 
typically athletes will front load their jumps into the beginning of their form to, to conserve their energy. But putting a jump that late, definitely showing that you have what it, what it takes to be here at the world stage. Of course, here in Fort Worth, Texas, fortune favors the bold. Alden Jose Martinez from Spain. Stand by and wait for the score from the judges. And clocking in, 8.850. Up next, we have a Gong Hei Yoon from Korea. He's definitely one of the favorites to watch. I saw him warming up the other day, Alan. It was just absolutely spectacular. It's crazy. His legs are as big are bigger than my head. And that's just his shins, right? Yes. <laughs> Techniques and stops on a dime. Jump inside 720. Fortunately, there was a bobble there on that horse stance oh, and another. Jump outside 540. Let's see if he can recollect. A phenomenal display of athleticism, folks. Unfortunately, at this level of competition, we're expecting perfection out of those A and C scores. strong display of southern power. Tornado fall. And the strong finish from Dong Hei Yun. Showing us that drop stance. Requirements for that, of course, with the uh, back foot being thigh and calf touching. And on the front leg, we want it perfectly straight, both feet flat on the ground, which, of course, he executed flawlessly. 9.130. And unfortunately, we do see two code 70s for loss of balance. Yes, those would be the connection codes for his for his landing. And up next from Indonesia, we have Harris Horatius. Looks like he's coming in fresh from competing at the Southeast Asian Games this year. That's right. Well seasoned and experienced athlete. We'll see what he's bringing to us today in Fort Worth, Texas. I believe he also medaled yesterday. I believe you're correct. Just showing us how it's done, folks. So much height, so much effortless wow. floating. You look like he had so much time for activities up there in the air. <laughs> now speed and intensity. all of those wow. traditional animal hand styles and mannerisms. And also the leg control and leg strength. <laughs> Tornado fall. The man in absolute control of his kinetic energy. <laughs> now he just has to bring it home. Drop stance. 
And an empty stance. Wow, I think that's a flawless victory. I tell you, man. Paris Horatius, Indonesia. Let's see what the judges have to say. I think he's walking off a proud man. He knows it. Yes. Nine point seven four three. Good for second place so far. But up next we have Bo and Du from China. If there's anybody who can break into the top three, I have a feeling it's this gentleman. A very lively crowd cheering for him. There are those bridge fingers. Bridge Classic hands. hungar. Wow. Really channeling uh, the Tiger Crane routine, made famous by the legendary Huang Fei Hung. Ah. Outside 540. Wow, very solid landings. Jump out. So much power and complexity in these techniques, Alan. I know. Wow. Amazing performance. Bo and Du showing us how it's done, folks. Clocking in at one minute, 31 seconds. Plenty of time, so no worry about a time deduction there. Of course, our minimum time being one minute and 20, so we're 11 over. It looked like he landed all of his jumps. I tell you, he had a routine full of form, full of techniques. Full of flavor. Yes, sir. Southern flavor. 9.723. 9 Good enough for fourth. Up next, another strong competitor from Hong Kong, China, Chi Long Lao. Hong Kong, China bringing us also a very strong team here today. Oh. See these athletes opening their routines with a flurry of high speed and power and then setting themselves up for their first difficulty techniques. Jump outside. Inside to Gainer. Oh, wow, jump inside 540. <laughs> I think you'd hear both of us uh, commentators, folks. We just lost our breath at the height of that jump.
Wow. That's the first time I've seen that today. I was going to say, first one of those. Again, at this level of competition, folks, it's all about pulling out all of the stops. you got to take a risk. And Chi Guang Lao from Hong Kong, China, definitely doing so, and I believe it's paying off for him. Spectacular routine. Yes. And what a way to finish. For those of you just tuning in, we're here in Fort Worth, Texas at the 16th World Wushu Championships. In this field of play, we're watching men's nanchuan. Next door to us is women's jiansu, or sword play. And next to them is men's sanda. Of course, sanda being a form of fighting done on a raised platform. Uh, they're having some technical difficulties right now. So we'll just hold. Hold tight. Looks like Chi Long Lao's uh, routine was clocked in at 140, 149. It's on the uh, longer end of the. I think his routine was so spectacular, Al Alan, that it broke the system. <laughs> of course, next door you hear the audience chanting and then cheering on the uh, Chinese athlete competing in women's sword play. Up next in our field of play will be a Chong Ming Lu from Chinese Taipei. While well, we await the score for our athlete from Hong Kong, China. Nine point eight. Wow. We have a new first place, ladies and gentlemen. Right to the top of the podium. I tell ya. Let's see if he can hold that. I remember just a couple of years ago, nine point eight being the stuff of legend. We've seen a couple of those here today, Alan. Mm -hmm. Throughout the course of the competition, our athlete showing an emotional display. No doubt, his last work culminating in this moment. First place so far in the World Wushu Championships here in Fort Worth, Texas. All that hard work to be here at the world stage. A lifetime of hard work encapsulated in less than two minutes, Alan. Now we have Chinese Tape, Chong Min Lu stepping up. Let's see if he can top it. Intense opening. Back tuck. Big old air time. Jump outside, 540. Jump inside to Gainer. Oh, into a scorpion stance. Such an exciting landing, Alan. Aerial to scissor splits. Don't blink, folks, you'll miss it. Just when you see one phenomenal performance, think it can't get any better, we just see one after the other. Chinese Taipei, will he have what it makes, what it takes to make it into the top three? I think it's a strong likelihood here, Alan. Yes. Wow, the air time on that. I could have rode a Texas Longhorn under him. <laughs> Very 
great finish from Chang Min Liu from Chinese Taipei. Nine point seven six zero, good enough for silver. Now from Vietnam, we have Hu Nong Van. I believe he's coming in with some Southeast Asian Games experience. You know, we're just seeing strong athlete after strong athlete, back to back to back here, folks. The excitement is never quitting. Wow, very strong yell. Rooted horse stance. Oh. Wow, jump outside 720, but it might, it looks like he might have missed a slap, which the judges will be listening for. He didn't oh. miss it on that. <laughs> I tell you, he made it up. It's just amazing that these athletes can generate so much kinetic energy for these spins and jumps and then stop it so suddenly in these stances, yes. requiring tremendous knee and leg strength. Wow. If you can't hear it at home, folks, it definitely sounds like thunder every time he makes those grounded steps. Tornado fall. And finishing up with this final section. I think he just looked at you, Chris. I just hope myself die a little bit inside, Alan. Oh, my. Wow. Strong finish for Hu Nong Van of Vietnam. You know, Alan, he's clocking in at a minute and 44. I'm used to seeing these athletes doing routine. 9.770, good for second. These scores just keep getting tighter and tighter. Looks like they did not give him that deduction. Up next from Egypt, we have Adel Omar Abdel Karim. This Adel Omar uh, pursuing Wushu early on and then going on to become, I believe, a petroleum engineer and then coming back to pursue his dream and now competing in the World Championships, Alan. That's right, and he even left his family for six months to live in Chinese Taipei. That's right. To train. Very dedicated man. Loves the sport. We see that dedication paying off here today, Alan. At the 16th World Wushu Championships. Five. Big air and lots of strength. Five. Wow. So much power behind his movements. Oh, even a, wow. a, a crane, crane technique, yeah. I tell you. Daniel LaRusso's got nothing on him. <laughs> That's actually one of the required hand movements for a Nantran. Ah. Wow. Bring it out late in the routine, folks. And a very high carps kip up. That's he right. was standing at the end of that. A true test to the <laughs> athleticism of these athletes.
Very nicely done. Phenomenal performance by the athlete from Egypt. One minute, 30 seconds. You know, these athletes have just so much content, so much difficulty to cram into their routine so that they're getting longer. And they're showing that they have more and more endurance. It used to be people wanted to get in the bare minimum to avoid deductions. But out here at this level of competition, Alan, 8.630. At this level of competition, it's about showing off what you can do and taking those risks. That's right. A very good score he should be proud of here on the world stage. Up next, a young athlete from Greece, Konstantinos Kamatsos. Coming out strong. Wow. Nice wide bow stance. Constantinos is only 14 years old. My word. So some of those traditional bridge hand techniques that we associate with Hongar. Looks like he's doing a, a non trend routine with some uh, origins from, uh, from the compulsory. But of course, changing it up as well and keeping us all on our toes. Kip up to butterfly stance. Let's so see that crane technique and tiger call. He's showing great poise for being here at the world stage at such a young age. Showing he's got the endurance, he just keeps the power up even at a yeah. section four. Finishing with a nice strong yell. In an empty stance. No doubt a performance that uh, Konstantinos Komatsos can be proud of, representing Greece. Ladies and gentlemen. He's also sporting some Fagas. Oh, nice. One of our sponsors for. Phenomenal martial arts shoe, Alan. 7.583. And up next from Switzerland, we have Sammy Ben Mahmoud. Looking forward to seeing what Team Switzerland brings to us today in the non joint division. You know, he's one of the nicest athletes that I've met this weekend but I'm sure he's gonna bring the intensity of the Southern Fist. Only nice off the carpet, right, Alan? That, that's right. Ferocious on. Starting off with some intensity. Wow, very strong opening. making all these jumps look super easy. Switzerland is here to make a statement and Alan, they are making it. You can say that again. Sammy is also one of the seasoned vets of the sport. He's showing his experience and all his power on display.
Carp's kip up into a butterfly a stance. Finishing us off with his section four. The very strong grounded gongbu bow stance into an empty stance. I like the unique ending. You know, we're seeing them bring out other animal styles as well, not just That's tiger right. crane, but even, uh, I believe, dog, dog style. style. Yeah. Tiger and crane being ubiquitous, but uh, dog style being quite esoteric to the southern martial arts. Team Switzerland. 9.663. Heck of a score. Very, Very good, good job. Score. Eighth place. And up next from Malaysia, we have Wai Leong Calvin Lee. Team Malaysia, very strong wushu team. Of course, Malaysia, home of one of the Chinwu schools. The Chinwu schools uh, created by Ho Yun Jia in Shanghai. Of course, is spread out throughout the world, known for opening up martial arts to the masses. Let's see what he's got today. And I believe made famous in Jet Li's Fist of Legend movie, as well as some Bruce Lee movies. So Malaysia, definitely a strong martial wushu country and team. There we go. Wow. Six sudden stops, Alan. Jump inside to Gainer. Jump outside, 540. Phenomenal. Jump inside, 540. Right in front of the judges. Yeah, these athletes' ability to create such momentum and then stop it in a horse stance. So, so much strain and pressure on your knees, Alan. That's cool. He'll kick into a roll. We're seeing some of those classic medium and short range southern hand techniques. Mm -hmm. Wow, I see some of that Wing Chun there too. Mm -hmm. Wow, great finish. Definitely, I believe, a potential to break into the top three here, Alan. It was an amazing performance. Say. I didn't want it to end. <laughs> we'll stand by to see what the judges have. 9.776, new second place. We've seen some incredible action so far, but we still have a bunch of heavy hitters on the list coming up. And coming up? From Bermuda, Caitlin Dwayne Cox. I enjoyed his non doubt performance yesterday, Alan. I'm looking forward to what he has to show us now. From Bermuda. Strong we see that dragon stance, the requirement for the knee to be off the ground while executing a nil. Correct. Jump front to single foot landing. Back tuck. It might have been a slight bobble. We'll see what the judges say. Wow. Bringing us some unique Very combinations. Solid. Showing us up double bridge hands. Aerial to scissors foot. Says he's got 20 years traditional kung fu experience, Sanda for five, and now contemporary for three years. Wow. So, really giving us the total package here. Very well rounded athlete. <laughs> well, 
Well done, Kalen Dwayne Cox from Bermuda, folks. stage. And up next from Brazil, we have Daniel Xingyi Chen. It says here he's competed in the 2023 FISC World Games in Chengdu. So we're expecting him to bring his experience on display for us today here in Fort Worth, Texas. I think I also saw some snake hands right there. Wonderful, one of the five animals. outside 540. I would not want to be hit with that kick, Allen. Back tuck. Athletes make it look so easy to do these jumps and turns in the air, but I assure you it is not easy at all. Tornado fall. Saw so you punch into crane technique. Another set of crane hands. Finishing with his drop stance. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Xingyi Chen from Brazil. Eight point one four zero. And up next from Macau, China, Chingyo Chen. Chris Macau giving us some, Macau China, giving us some phenomenal performances, often breaking into the top three, if not the top. <laughs> That's right. We've had a few athletes from Macau China break into the podium spots yet this last two days. Let's see what he's gonna bring to us today. Again, ladies and gentlemen, fortunes can change at any moment here in Fort Worth, Texas as we're learning. display of internal energy. Oh. Uh, reminds me of uh, Gungi Fuku Q and Alan. Yeah, taming the tiger. Two. Yes, taming the tiger in an eight shape formation. Wow. And he's definitely taming that tiger, Alan. So much power in these kicks. I tell you. Oh, wow. Shoot far and save the matches, Alan. <laughs> and he's doing all these techniques right in front of the judges. I tell you. The confidence. He's just wanting them to see. He didn't come here to, dis to uh, compete, Alan. He came here yeah. to give a demonstration on how it should be done. And he is doing it. He wants that bling. <laughs> just right up on that white line in front yeah. of the judges. Whoa. Showing us a master class in technique. That's right. He didn't he didn't just come to Texas for the barbecue. No, he didn't. But that might have been a close second, Alan. <laughs> wow. The cow china folks wrapping up a phenomenal southern fist. What a finish. Machine. 
Will this break into the top three? We'll shortly find out. Nine point seven four six. Good for sixth place. The competition is tight here today. And up next from Tunisia, Helmi Dribi. It says here that uh, Helmi Dribi is the 2018 African Youth Game uh, first place champion. Wow. 10 years of training and seven years as an official competitor. He's definitely showing that today. Very well done. Yes, very clean landings. Very good strength. Massive arms on this competitor. Wow. And so many nice. different techniques. Look at that. I saw a crane, I saw a scorpion, tiger. What other, what other animals are there, Chris? Let's see, we've got panther, or leopard as it's known, right? Snake being one of the five, tiger, crane. Oh, and dragon oh. being one of the five. Of course, that's more internal and asymmetric in nature. We don't really see a lot of that here. That's right. Just easily dropping down into that drop stance. To Tell finish this out. folks. Exciting performance indeed. Yes. Nine point five eight zero. Next from Portugal, Annabel Miguel. Castillo Matas Piera de Almeida. Jump outside 540. Jump inside 540. Had his hand on the ground, which could cost him a slight deduction. Jump outside 360. Close to that line. Mm -hmm. Showing us a phoenix eye fist there with the index finger extended at the first knuckle. Usually uh, used to strike out the ribs or softer parts of the body. Pressure point attack, Alan. Wow. Let's see if he can finish it strong here. We await our score. One minute, 25 seconds, so five seconds above the minimum time. Mm -hmm. 
And then looking at who we have coming up, we have uh, Ukraine, United States, Chile on the way, as well as a number of other countries, Alan. That's right. A lot of action yet to come. And it looks like that we also have female nun trend on Beautiful Play 2. I thought I heard them. Yeah. That's how you know it's uh, nun trend when you got the southern yell. Seven point two and three. Unfortunately, a number of deductions that hurt his overall score. Up next from Ukraine, Vyacheslav Krusko, an athlete who really caught our attention the other day, Alan. An extraordinarily strong athlete. Mm -hmm. He'll display tremendous power and amazing jumps. That's right. Strong yell. Solid opening to his first jump. Back tuck to a <laughs> butterfly stance. Did you see the height on that? Jump outside 540. A little bit of a rock there, but man, this guy gets so much air wow, time. Wow, that's a jump inside 720. Phenomenally strong Whoosh. athlete. Alan, my word. The height of these jumps is scaring me. I uh, was not sure he was going to come down to the ground. He just took off. Wow, look at that speed. I definitely would not want to be hit by him. He's a tall athlete, but he can project that kinetic energy. He just throws himself through the air, folks. Great finish, great strong finish for Ukraine. Definitely an athlete who leaves you with an impression. Walking in at a minute and 33, I think we may see one or two code 70 deductions, but otherwise an outstanding performance by Ukraine. Point zero five wow. zero. Still breaking that nine. And up next from the USA, we have Tristan Cook. A hometown favorite. He's making his debut on the world stage this weekend. He broke the top 10 yesterday. Excited to see what he's got for us today in men's nun trend. We see Tristan beginning his routine. <laughs> Staying up for his opening jump. <laughs> well done. Back tuck the butterfly stance. Jump inside 540. Jump inside 360. Jump inside to horse dance. Just landing difficulty technique after difficulty technique, folks. Yes. He's showing that he definitely deserves to be here competing with the world's best. Absolutely, Alan. Of course, we see here the audience just going absolutely wild for Tristan. Showcase of athleticism. 
He's still got some more in the tank. Let's see if he can finish it strong. Wow, yes, look at sir. that tornado fall. Into a kip up butterfly stance. Using so much energy near the end of his routine. And easily finishing with a drop stance to empty stance. Nice empty stance too, Alan. Very aesthetic, a wide horse stance at the end. Wow. Wonderful display by Tristan Cook of the United States. Stand by and wait to see what the judges say. Nine point seven six six. <laughs> Good enough for fourth place. Outstanding. Very well done from Tristan. No doubt walking away very satisfied. Up next, we have from Chile, Luis Fernando Bernal Gallo, the Southern Tiger of Chile. And starting in the back corner. It's a little different from all the other athletes we've seen so far this morning. Very strong opening. Jump outside 540, stuck the landing. Jump inside 540. Jump outside 360, horse stance. Slap kick. Uh, Just blowing his stances for us, folks. Jump inside the butterfly stance. Late in the game, too. Just flexing those muscles in front of the judges. <laughs> Welcoming them to the gun show, Alan. That's right. We are in Texas, after all. Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Mm -hmm. Easily doing that kip up. Let's see if he can finish it strong here. Definitely channeling his inner animal here, Alan. Mm -hmm. Fine display of martial technique and prowess. Wow, beautiful performance from Luisito. Nine point five three six. Very strong performance, very high school for our Chilean athlete, and he looks very satisfied. And up <laughs> Yeah. And wonderful. up next from South America too, we have from Brazil. Gabriel Comaziro Nakamura. He's a household name in the game of Nantran. Wow, very strong yell. I got chills. Chris. I'll tell you, if you look away, that'll get your attention, folks. Good jump outside spin, unfortunately, a little bit of a bobble, but making Very up great for it that back action. tuck and a gainer. And just lining up his difficulties one on top of the other. bringing on the Nantran flavor. Wow, so fast. Butterfly palm into a 
couple of arm swings there. Showing us some textbook Hungar technique. Wow. Jab there. I tell you, scary. That's right. I would not want to be a three stooge today. <laughs> Very well done. Very Gabriel Tomazito Nakamura from Brazil. Nine point four three zero. We have Benjamin Kretz from Germany approaching. Down to our final eight competitors, Alan. Still seeing a list of strong competitors that can change at any moment. Just getting right into the back tuck. Yes, sir. Wow. Jump inside 540. <laughs> Keeping us wow. on the edge of our seats, folks. Yeah. And no step jump inside. Additional tiger yell there. I am enjoying what I'm seeing. Jump inside, call. Kip up. It's a butterfly stance. Great strength and great energy from beginning to the end. And that's what you need if you want to try and go for a contending spot in the podium. So we'll see what the judges have to say. Nine point four seven zero, definitely a respectable score. Up next from uh, Belgium, we have. Jens Crescens. Very strong opening. Preparing for his first jump. Jump outside 540. Jump inside to Gainer. And a back tucked to a butterfly stance. Jump outside 360. Finishing up his jumps for this section. And now the section where the athletes really showcase their strength and athleticism. Yeah. 
tornado fall right in front of the judges. Kip up. finish for Jens Crescens of Belgium. Eight point five two six. And up next from España, Francisco Garcia Mazuecos. Strong opening. Jump inside 540 to horse stance. Jump inside 540 to butterfly stance. Jump outside 360. Very fast for this non-do, Alan. Yes. I'm George seeing a little bit of a Wing Chun on display there. Oh, wow. nice. <laughs> Wonderful Aerial combination. He's just throwing out all the different non-do here. Again, ladies and gentlemen, so exciting here in Fort Worth, Texas. You never know what these athletes are going to bring out for us. And showing his strength with kicks, too. So much momentum and power behind these blows. Right into a tornado fall and back up. No hesitation at all. His empty stamps at the end. It was very low, too. Mm -hmm. Of course, non joint are requiring five stances, namely bow stance, crutch step, butterfly, dragon riding stance, unicorn stance. And they're also looking for such things as a side nail kick and rolling bridge, Alan. Yes, that's why you'll see a lot of athletes doing some of the similar moves, but rearranged differently in their routines. Uh, athlete cutting it close, clocking in at one minute, 20 seconds. But a phenomenal performance, keeping us on the edge of our seats, Alan. I enjoyed his non-do combinations. Oh, me too. He just went right into them. Nine point two four three. And up next from Italia, we have Dario Stelluti. Very well known non joint athlete. Oh, yes. Very seasoned. Very popular on Instagram. Yes, sir. <laughs> A wushu influencer. That's right. I even styled my hair after him this last two days. And you're looking sharp, Alan. Walking out with extreme confidence. He's a veteran to the sport, and he's one that you're going to want to watch. <laughs> Letting us know wow. Italy has arrived, folks. Dario Stiletti. Back tuck. Well done. So much speed. Such a smooth landing. Just melting into the ground, Alan. I just melted a little bit, too. <laughs> Jump outside to 540 horse dance. Jump inside. From nowhere. Nowhere. 
Wow. You got to stand out here, folks. And Dario Stiletti is definitely doing it. He said no to Nandu, yes to can do. Alan, no more commentating. <laughs> And then drop into that drop stance. I'm really enjoying his expression, the individuality he's bringing to it. Changing up his pacing and rhythm, something you see with very experienced athletes, Alan. That's right. And a very strong finisher. Dario Stelluti of Italy. Of course, we're down to our final five athletes, but at any moment, we're reminded to make them break onto the podium. That's right, anything can happen. We saw yesterday in men's Changchun, the second to last competitor ended up taking the podium spot for first place. It could happen today. This is Texas. Everything is wild down here. Mm -hmm. 9.666. Wow, 9.66. And he most certainly was a beast. <laughs> <laughs> and up next from Macau, China, we have Junhua Huang. Showing excellent body control. It wow. Was start and stop. That's some dog style. So much animation in this body. I didn't even know we had joints there, Alan. Jeez. Alan, we're seeing a game changer. Jump outside 540. Back tuck to butterfly stands. So much body control. Showing that he's a master of himself and his craft, Alan. That's right. a master scoot or a touchdown raise, Alan? Oh, you saw a scoot all right. Adding both traditional and some new flavor. Wow. He looked over at his teammates just before finishing and said, I got this. <laughs> Incredible finish. Ladies and gentlemen, Macau, China. Coming him strong at the end, making one heck of a statement. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this he is, is a, a crowd Texas favorite. style shootout here in the men's nonjure. You know, if someone's going to break into the podium, I think it could be this one. Yes, sir. 9.80. 9 Good for second. We have a tie for 9.80 in this section. Of course, we saw a phenomenal tiebreaker yesterday with, I believe, three match scores. Crazy stuff. Of course, our other athlete from Hong Kong, China, with a 9.0, Chi Long Lao. Mm -hmm. Up next from Brazil, we have Rafael Viana dos Santos. Down to our final three, ladies and gentlemen. All right, 
Rafael is also a seasoned veteran. He's not new to the sport. In 2018, he participated in the Pan American Wushu Championships. Very well done. Seeing continuous jump inside to jump outside kicks. Another jump outside. Wow. No hesitation in his movements, full confidence. Intensity, Alan, intensity. He trained hard to be here, and he's showing us why he deserved it. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the final three athletes in men's non joint and it's definitely a showdown at the OK Corral here in Fort Worth, Texas. Very dramatic ending. Yes. Taking his time, making it his. Nine point six five three. First, we're seeing just near or completely perfect A and C scores here, Alan. Everything's coming down to that B score. Such a high level yes. of martial artist here on display. Up and next, up. Oh, no, we have Jimmy Belize from Belgium. Looking forward to seeing what Jimmy brings to the carpet. of some of the compulsories there. Mm -hmm. Definitely seen some classic southern bridge hand techniques. Seener. Uh -oh. Slight Little bit of bobble. Jump inside 540. Jump inside. Jump slap to single foot lane. Here are those bridge hands again. Of intensity. I'm enjoying that uh, double tiger claw and back kick technique oh, yeah. of Sig Allen. <laughs> Trying a variety of hand techniques and uh, short stances on display in men's non-trun. Jimmy Melise from Belgium. And tornado fall. Hip up. Wow. Good finish for Jimmy. Clock to minute, 154 is right. a long routine. long routine. Definitely one to tax your endurance, but he did a phenomenal job. Yes. Eight. 8.916. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're up to our final athlete of men's non Vincent Ventura from Philippines. Philippines, of course, an extraordinarily strong team here in Fort Worth this year. Reminding us that fortunes can change at any moment. Will he be breaking into the top three? Alan, I think in we less than two see. minutes, we'll be finding out, my good man. <laughs> wow, very 
very strong yell. Towed that line there. Oh, a little bit of a wobble there. Still an excellent job loving the uh, non truant flavor and power. Yeah. He just looked over at us to make sure we were watching. Oh, yes, sir. We are. Ah, oh, I love that. That sink into the uh, drop stance. Mm -hmm. So effortless and fast. Smooth. Some of these athletes are so smooth they look like they're moving on ice. Keeping us up on our toes until the end, Alan. I am on the edge of my seat, Chris. So here's that drop stance, tiger claws to an empty step. What a phenomenal display of Southern Chinese martial arts power on display for us. Vincent Ventura from the Philippines. Will he be breaking into the top three, Alan? We will soon find out. Stand by for the judges' score, 9.610. Such a high score, but again, these athletes are doing just so amazingly well. And of course, we did see that one code 70 deduction for, for losing his balance, but otherwise, just a phenomenal display of martial prowess here by Vincent Ventura. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends our morning session here at Field of Play 1 in the uh, 16th World Wuzhou Championships here in Fort Worth, Texas. This concludes we invite you back this afternoon. I am Chris Judges, Caldwell. And I'm Alan Pang. Y'all come back now. Judges, please exit. Thank you, judges. How's it going, Scott?
This concludes the events in FOP3. We now conclude session number five of the Hung In Shang 16th World Wushu Championships. Judges, please rise. Judges, please exit the stage. Thank you, judges. The upcoming Wushu Talu competition will begin again at 2 p.m. this afternoon. Participating athletes, please register on time. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to join us again this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, the award ceremony will start soon. We would like to take a moment to announce our sponsors. We would like to announce our sponsor, Feiwei Shoes. Feiwei Shoes were first introduced in the 1920s and found popularity amongst China's Shaolin monks and Kung Fu masters. With its extreme flexibility, traction, comfort, and new designs, Feiwei has become the popular shoe to wear for martial arts training and competition. We invite you to visit their booth in the main lobby on your right as you exit the arena. Our next sponsor is for Raising Cane's Chicken. When you're heading home after the championships, head on into Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers on South University. Cane's hand-battered chicken fingers and delicious secret sauce is the perfect way to feed your post-game appetite. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. To try some now, visit their booth in the main lobby, also on your right as you exit the arena.
distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the HYX 16th World Wushu Championships Men's Nanshua Victory Ceremony will now begin. Let's welcome the medalists to the podium with a warm round of applause. The medals will be presented by Mr. Julian Camacho, IWF Executive Board Member. The mascots will be presented by Mr. Anthony Chen, USA WKF Executive Board Member. The bronze medalist representing Malaysia, Wei Yong Calvin Lee. The silver medalist representing Macau, China is Hong Jun Hua. The gold medalist representing Hong Kong, China is Lao Chi Lung. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. Congratulations, let's give another big round of applause for the medals. Robert. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the HYX 16 World Wushu Championships Women's Jianshu Victory Ceremony will now begin. Let's welcome the medalists to the podium with a warm round of applause. The medals will be presented by Mr. An Wong Sun, IWF Treasurer. The mascots will be presented by Mr. Justin Egger, USA WKF Executive Board Member. The bronze medalist representing Macau, China is Li Yi. The silver medalist representing Hong Kong, China is Sham Ping Yu, Lydia. The gold medalist representing People's Republic of China is Yao Yang. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. Please be seated, and congratulations. Let's give another big round of applause for the medalists. Ladies and gentlemen, the HYX 16th World Wushu Championships Women's Nanchuan Victory Ceremony will now begin. Let's welcome the medalists to the podium with a warm round of applause. The medals will be presented by Mr. Walt Missingham, IWF Vice President. The mascots will be presented by Miss Jiang Bangjun, USA WKF 
Executive Board Member. Please be seated. Congratulations. Let's give another big round of applause for the medal. That concludes the victory ceremony. The upcoming competition events in session six will be held today at 2 p.m. See you soon.
can you check yeah, this? Yeah, I'm going to check this right now. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hung Yuan Xiang 16th World Wushu Championships will begin in a few moments.
also for the infantry uh, about the accommodation in the hotel. Because I, I transfer 8,000 from each I transfer back. Okay. And I need to know because uh, I, uh, maybe 1,000 I must pay as cash. Maybe. You must check this and the prepare the receipt for me for uh, all the accommodation. Yes, for, you, for, for the team, right? For the team, Egyptian. Uh, yes. Egyptian team. Uh, uh, yeah, team. I, I also uh, I, I have to check with my team if they get a receipt.
Ready? Now yeah, let's introduce, excuse me. <laughs> Ready? Session number six of the Wushu competition will now begin. Let's welcome the judges. Now let's introduce the Supervisory Commission, Jury of Appeals, and judges of this championship. Supervisory Committee Chairman, Mr. Walt Missingham, Australia. Members, Mr. Julian Camacho, Philippines. Mr. Peter Turkovic, Croatia. Mr. David Feigelson, United States of America. Jury of Appeals, Chairman, Mr. Sharif Mustafa, Egypt. Vice Chairman, Mr. Kim Fat Chong, Malaysia. Members, Ms. Lu Xiaoling, United States of America. Mr. Jean Xiaobing, People's Republic of China. Mr. Mohammad Reza Porgola Minijad, Iran. Chief Referee, Mr. Su Chong Lai, People's Republic of China. Assistant Chief Referee, Mr. Xiao Zhaoming, Australia. Field of Play One, Head Judge, Nick Optenda, Netherlands. Judge One, Kyung Hee Bae, Republic of Korea. Judge Two, Lei Kuang Hui, Vietnam. Judge Three, Omar Rodarte, Mexico. Judge Four, Maximilian Kobayashi, Brazil. Judge five, Kevin Law, USA. <laughs> Judge six, Huang Yanhui, Macau, China. Judge seven, Li Minhua, Sweden. Judge eight, Lu Guan Ong, Brunei. Judge nine, Tio Soon Long, Singapore. Judge 10, Arkhavan Jalali Farahani, Iran. Judge 11, Noah Barrio, Spain. Routine Inspector, Justin Egert, USA. Field of Play 2, Head Judge, Rong Jun, Switzerland. Judge 1, Wing Hong Chung, Hong Kong, China. Judge 2, Lim Kim, Malaysia. Judge three, Teru O, Japan. Judge four, Avidis Seropian, Lebanon. Judge five, Yang Chu Zheng, Chinese Taipei. Judge six, Wang Xiao Na, People's Republic of China. Judge seven, Elizette Toledo, Chile. Judge eight, Celia Nguyen, France. Judge 9, Tong Shao Bo, Netherlands. Judge 10, Leonid Barisov, Ukraine. Judge 11, Jennifer Gu, Canada. Routine Inspector, Rosalind Kwok, Canada. Field of Play 3, Head Judge, Zhao Bing, People's Republic of China. Assistant Head Judge, Marcus Vinicius Fernandez Alves, Brazil. Judge one, Aladin Azuz, France. Judge two, Wang Tao, USA. Judge three, Kim Ming Lam, Hong Kong, China. Judge four, Winston Lico Winster, Netherlands. Judge five, Joanna Monika Skomla, Poland. Let us welcome the athletes. Good afternoon, Wushu enthusiasts. Brace yourselves for an adrenaline-fueled afternoon as we delve into the heart of day three at the 16th World Wushu Championships right here in the vibrant city of Fort Worth, Texas. The clock is ticking and the athletes from around the world are primed to unleash their skills in this electrifying competition. So buckle up and get ready to witness a symphony of speed, power and finesse in this thrilling afternoon session. So grab your virtual seat and popcorn 
and prepare for an unforgettable showcase of martial arts mastery. I am joined by my colleague and peer, Kyle. How are you doing this afternoon? I am doing great, and I'm really excited to see some staff work here for men's Gunshu. It's going to be a lot of tough competition out there, so I'm really curious to see who is going to take the top three here. Kyle, if this morning session is any indication of what is in store for us, you can expect some fast moving action throughout the event. Just in the last couple of divisions, we saw some athletes all the way through the very end come in and secure medals. We've got a lot of eager athletes who have been competing over the last couple of days, vying for their opportunity to place and take home a medal. For many of these athletes, this is their last event for this championships. So I'm sure there's a lot of eagerness to get on the carpet and show everyone what they've got. Looks like we got our first athlete coming up, Jean-Michael Merten of Germany. <laughs> Off to a good start. He's got some great height on his jumps. Did a great job of staying within those lines. Little close. Wow, jump outside into a bow stance. Now Kyle, as we saw earlier, the big differentiator between the top athletes were their ability to not get any A-level deductions, obtain all of their difficulty movements, but really it was that overall performance that took them to the top tier and securing their medals. So what you're gonna really need to see is athletes pushing in the middle of their routines as hard as they can without any mistakes in order to secure their medal finishes. Here we might have seen a slight Weapon malfunction, staff hit the floor, but we'll have to see how the judges score it. And we've got a field of very fierce competition in what was originally a field of 58 athletes with a couple of drops. You know, there's no room for error in this division today. We'll stand by for Shane's final score at 9.440. There we see the deduction for the weapons hitting the ground. Cost him a point one. Still a strong score. On average, however, we've been seeing top scores within the 9.8 and 9.7 to be able to secure a podium finish. All right, looks like we have our next athlete. Inching Ho of Hong Kong, China. Love the color of his staff. Almost reminds me of a, uh, a lightsaber. It definitely stands out. Opening sequence, butterfly twist into a step out, jump inside 720. Looks like he had to use the front leg for additional support. Very strong recovery into a jump outside.
好是吧？He's got great control of his staff. Yeah, there's a lot of really complex movements in that middle of his routine. Really strong and powerful. Strong ending from Yin Tsing Ho. We'll have to see how the judges score it. All right, final score, 9.576. There we see two deductions for Group A. He was able to secure his full Group C score. Looks like one of his splits, there was the deduction for the foot touching and the empty stance. We're on to our next competitor from Canada, Rex Ho Yin Lam. Outside 720. And he lands it. Huge height on that jump front kick. His kick's well above shoulder height. Strong finish to his routine. Final score in 9.520. And our next athlete is ready to go from the Philippines, Mark Lester Rage. Strong opening. We see him set up for his first difficulty technique. Jump outside 540 into a horse stance. Immediately into a jump front aerial. Jump inside into splits. This is where he really has to differentiate himself from the pack. He's got to push as much speed as possible while maintaining that quality of movement and really showcasing his ability to wield that staff.
Ooh. Got that hand that touched the ground. Yeah, that's going to cost him a significant amount of value. There's three levels of deductions for loss of balance, slight swaying, additional support, and then multiple parts of your body touching the ground. That has potential to take him down in the rankings. Stand by for how the judges saw it. All right, final score, 9.353. Yep, and there we see that deduction costing him 3.3 out of a potential 5.0 in Group A. He got a 4.70. And at this level, unfortunately, you just can't afford any type of deductions in those Group A and Group C scores. That's really what's going to differentiate the top 10 from the rest of the field. All right, up next we have an athlete from Argentina, Ezequiel Agustin Moyano. Butterfly twist into splits. It's got solid, smooth spins. Jump inside in splits. Ezekiel has competed at Pan American Championships, but he said this is his first time competing at World Championships, and he's very excited to be able to represent his country on a world stage. That was Ezekiel Moyano from Argentina. Final score, 8.576. Our next competitor is up from Team Mexico, Samuel Montalvo. Jump immediately into a jump front kick. Sitting stance. Jump outside 540. Holds that horse stance. It's a great aerial, very smooth. Jump inside of splits. Staff toss, and he catches it. Samuel actually competed at the ninth World Games and received the highest score for Mexico with a 9.67 in Guinshu. So let's see what he brings us here at the 16th World Wushu Championships.
Solid performance. Samuel Montalvo Hernandez of Mexico. Final score, 9.270. See group A deductions for kicking below shoulder level, loss of balance, and it looked like there was a weapon uh, loss of grip deduction. Still a strong score for Samuel. And up next, we have an athlete from Argentina. Frederico Jose Diaz. Looks like there's a slight loss of balance there in that landing. Butterfly twist to a jump inside 360, landing in a horse stance. Kyle, it's interesting to see the evolution of this division. Previously, you know, back in my day, we had wooden staffs, and now we've gone to all composite staffs, which gives a little bit more of an even playing field for all athletes to have similar weapon types, apparatus. Um, it's also less likely to break, which yeah. I remember occurring a lot more frequently previously. I've also been uh, accustomed to the waxwood staff as well, so. To see uh, most athletes be using the same staff is very f much more fair. And these staffs are also lighter, easier to wield. Yeah, you're definitely seeing a lot more intricate techniques being able to be uh, executed. But I'm sure it brings a whole new level of complexity with it as well. Absolutely. Final score, 8.816. Looks like there was a couple of deductions there in that A score, loss of balance, and one on the empty stance as well. All right, looks like we got a athlete from Latvia, Philip Sebastians Benders. Looks like a slight loss of balance there in that horse stance. Jump outside into sitting stance. Jump front in a sitting stance. Butterfly kick, and looks like that hand touched the carpet there.
there's that empty stance. To a nice bow stance and a clean finish. Final score, 7.033. And up next, we have Daniel Veskenchenko of Ukraine. Daniel is a very explosive competitor. Saw him compete in men's Daoshu earlier. Really fierce athlete. First jump. Ooh, slight loss of balance there in that landing. Really intricate first sequence. You see him utilizing that staff in between his movements. Really fast speed. Tell he is very confident with his staff and it's very controlled. You know what? You're right, Mario. He's a very strong athlete here. He's definitely demonstrating a lot of high level, difficult combinations, switching hands, going behind the back. I mean, he's got a lot of intricate movements that makes it all the more difficult to maintain his speed and intensity, but the nail isn't dropping a beat. Finishing up with his required stances, drop stance, That's Daniil Fashenko from Ukraine. We'll have to see how it scores. There is at least one error that we might have caught. It's anybody's day, but top scores are gonna be set high. It's gonna be very tight. Final score, 9.186. There we see the deduction, Kyle, that you mentioned. There's some deduction for his difficulty movements, loss of balance, and a stance deduction, putting him currently in sixth place. All right, up next we have a athlete from the Philippines, John Zenith, Gaho. And John Zenith, we've seen him earlier. Again, another extremely talented athlete, very powerful, very explosive. <laughs> wow, that was great. Very complex routine combination with the staff. I love to see these routines where they get creative and implement new techniques in conjunction with their difficulty movements. Just raises the overall level of difficulty. He has so much strength that he uses with his staff.
solid performance. Really strong execution. We'll have to see how the judges score it. That was a strong combo of routines though. Final score, 9.560, bumping him up to second place at the moment. All right, we have Tristan Cook from the United States up on the carpet. Can hear his team cheering for him in the background as he gets ready. A lot of power in those slams. He sets up for his first difficulty. So far, a great opening. And at 540. sticks that landing. Jump inside into a butterfly twist split. Jump front kick aerial. Jump inside to horse dance landing. Right into a jump outside. Into another horse dance landing. Beautiful landings. You can tell Tristan is very experienced in this. He's been practicing wushu for about 14 years. And it definitely shows out on the carpet. Here's where he has to push if he wants to break into that top three. He's doing a good job of maintaining his intensity. Is that empty stance? A strong finish. That was an excellent performance by Tristan Cook of the United States. Now let's wait for that final score. Currently puts him in first place. 9.730, full A score, full C score. I'm telling you, Mario, there's some exciting stuff we got out there. That's a high bar he set. That's what you want to score if you want to be in the top three. Thank you. And I see our next competitor is all set to go. This is David Gabriel Bobadilla Molina from Chile. Wow, very strong opening. Jump front kick to sitting stance. Butterfly twist. Jump inside into horse stance. And he nails it. Jump outside of horse stance. Thank you. 
great height on that butterfly kick. Strong finish from David from Team Chile will stand by and see how he fares. Final score, 9.533. Looks like one co-deduction there, which was for his uh, bow stance. Our next athlete is ready to go. He is from Sweden, Axel Eric Ludwig Westerkull. Fast opening sequence. Jump front kick into a cross sitting stance. Finishing up his required stances. Ending in an empty stance. That was Axel Westerkull from Sweden. Final score 8.683. Got a few deductions there, one of them being kick being below the shoulder. Also got a horse stance deduction there as well. Looks like we have our next athlete up, Tsim Meng Ong of Singapore. Tsim Meng, a very strong competitor, extremely explosive. We've seen him compete before. Always a fan favorite. Still very early in this division. Plenty of opportunities to secure a top three finish. Jump outside 540. Jump front aerial to a jump inside into a horse dance landing. Jump outside 360. Really clean execution. Now here's where speed comes into play. Oh, no. 
You know, I've seen some really great performances from Singapore so far this tournament. And Singapore is still proving to be a top contender here. We're seeing some really strong Gwen Shu. Strength, agility, and control with that staff. Very sharp ending. All right, that was Simong Ong of Singapore. Let's wait for a final score. There's definitely the potential there, Kyle. We'll have to see. Can't afford any A or C deductions. 9.776, he overtakes first place. Moving the bar up once again. All right, we have our next athlete coming up, Yong Hyun Lee of Korea. And not to sound like a broken record again, Kyle, but if there's any athletes who can break into the top three, it's Yong Hyun Lee. We saw him compete the first two days, really strong competitor. Has a lot of power, a lot of explosive jumping ability. I mean, just look at that start. Such control. Jump inside 720. And he lands that perfectly. Jump front kick aerial. Jump inside 360. Just look at the height on that jump. It's like he's floating. Jump outside 540. Uh, here's where you really need to differentiate yourself. Maintaining that speed, power, and execution. Being as efficient as possible with your movement to maintain that speed. Strong empty stance at the end. We'll have to see. I don't know, Kyle. There may have been something in there, but we'll have to see how the judges saw it. He definitely did a great job and a lot of explosive movement. We'll just have to see if it's enough. Let's see if we can make it to the top three. And he does. 9.793. Taking the new number one spot currently. Phenomenal performance from Yong Yun Lee. Very powerful. Looks like we got our next athlete up from Poland, Michael Malinowski. Jump outside into a horse dance landing. Jump inside 540, and that's a very difficult jump to execute, particularly landing on that opposite side. You have a lot of momentum opposing the direction that you're landing.
Closing out his routine with an empty stance. Standing by for Michael Score. Final score, 8.746. And our next athlete is all set to go from Team Mexico. Edson Eduardo Medellin Rodriguez is up. Jump, jump outside 540 to horse stand, solid landing. Jump front kick aerial, right into a jump inside kick landing in a horse stance. It looks like a slight loss of balance there. Really good recovery, lots of speed. Right, there's that empty stance to finish us off. Strong performance for Team Mexico. Just wait for that final score. All right, we got some technical difficulties here. Looks like our screen has the uh, incorrect athlete. Looks like we're getting that rectified, so we'll stand by. Kyle, we're a little halfway through this event. What are your thoughts so far? You know what? When I saw Team USA take number one, you know, I, I, don't, I didn't know what to expect. Should I expect someone else to take over? Do you think he can keep it in the top three? You know what? Every person has surprised me so far. Yeah, and if this is any indication of all the other events that we saw, I mean, right to the bitter end, just goes to show you there are sometimes everybody's got a shot. Right, that's the opportunity that you get on this world stage, is to go out there and give it everything that you've gotten. There's been athletes who have come in at the very end and secured a medal, 
right down to the last athlete. So it's anybody's day. The stage is set. The bar is high, though there's still an opportunity for anyone to come in and medal. Now we do have a lot more athletes still to go, so there is still a lot of competition before we are done here. Yeah, so just as a reminder, current standings, Korea's Yong Yoon Lee is currently holding first with a 9.793. Singapore's Zi Meng Ong is holding second with a 9.776. And Tristan Cook from the United States is holding third with a 9.730. Still quite a gap between third and fourth. So 9.73 is the score to top. They want to make it into the top three. Final score, 9.260. All right, next athlete we have up is from Switzerland, Ariello Angelo. Slight loss of balance right there. Let's see if the judges caught that. But he recovers with that one. Solid horse stance. Jump inside 360 to horse stance. It takes a lot of stamina to be able to keep up the strength for this. That's definitely something that's going to differentiate the top field of athletes. It's being able to maintain that intensity without a drop in speed, power, precision. You've got to be able to maintain that intense routine from beginning to end. Very difficult to do. Final score for Aurelio, 9.093. And it looks like they did catch those uh, deductions there for the loss of balance, code 70, in the A score. Next up for Chinese Taipei, we have Po Feng Li. Strong opening. Really fast. I think we're going to be in for a great performance. Opening difficulty. 
Jump outside 540, over rotated. Aerial twist with the style, that's very difficult. Jump inside 360 into a split landing. You can hear those slams onto that carpet. Jump front kick aerial into a butterfly, into a cross sitting stance. That was a beautiful performance by Chinese Taipei. Now the question is, was it enough to break into the top three? That was very solid. Final score, 9.643, just shy of third, putting him in fourth place. Looks like Group C, there was a deduction. He was only able to get 1.85 out of a potential 2.0. Up next, we have Gwenwoo Park of Korea. Great hide on that kick. Jump inside of splits. Another athlete with great power and control with that staff. <laughs> Very unique. Aerial twist. And another one with the staff. <laughs> you can see just the finesse those movements and techniques. Closing out his routine in a drop stance, showing off his flexibility. Amazing performance by Gwen Wu Park. Definitely a top tier performance. We'll have to see how the judges call it.
And it looks like the judges agree, 9.786. That currently puts him in second place. Our next athlete takes the stage, Steve Coleman from Great Britain. Always one of our favorites in the commentator booth. Really strong opening sequence, jump front kick aerial to a jump inside 360 Ooh. landing in horse stance. And he holds it too. Jump outside into a cross sitting stance. Very smooth. And a clean finish. We'll stand by for Steve's final score, 9.513. All right, up next we have an athlete from Poland, Michael Jan Frosik. Slight loss of balance there. Landing in that horse stance. Butterfly twist. Got a stuff toss, and he catches it. That's very difficult to lose, not lose sight of where the staff is in the air as you continue your movement. A lot of risk. Especially you gotta think about it too. You're tossing that staff up in the sky and you've got your lights right above you. Yep. 
You've got to be able to throw it not where you are, but where you're going to be. Has a high risk potential for dropping your staff, which would cost you a lot of points. Final score, 8.596. All right, we have another athlete from Latvia, Ivo Arstis. <laughs> and he lands that horse dance. Inside a horse stance. Butterfly kick to cross leg six cents. There's that empty stance to finish us off. All right, that was Ivo Arts of Latvia. Let's await that final score. Final score, 9.320. Our next athlete is ready to go from Team Singapore, Joe Nsiwe Lim. He was our silver medalist in men's broadsword. Also a gold medalist back in May at the SEA Games. He is very capable of jumping into the top three. It's anybody's day. He definitely has the experience to do it, and I'm sure he'd be looking to take another medal home from this championship. We'll have to see how he fares with the judges. Setting up for his first opening jump. Jump inside 720, beautiful landing. Wow, the Fast speed. Combinations. Huge air on that jump inside. Back to back jump outsides. He's got a good majority of his difficulty movements. Now he's just got to maintain that speed and intensity. And you know what, Mario? I think he's doing a great job of it. Wow.
That was definitely a spectacular performance. A lot of speed, power. There were moments where I couldn't even see that staff. He was moving so fast. That was phenomenal. Final score, 9.823. Joanne takes first place. Team Singapore still proving that they are a strong contender in this competition. Yeah, Kyle, that's up there with one of the highest scores we've seen within this World Championships. That's going to be hard to dethrone. Not impossible. There's still a number of good, strong athletes who are vying for their opportunity to take home a medal. But so far, that secures him for first place and sets a high bar to try to beat. Looks like we have a strong opening here for our next athlete from Brazil, Caio Martinez. Finish here. Now we wait for the final score. Eight point nine six six. Our next athlete is Suraj Singh Mayang Lamban of India. Jump outside 540, textbook landing. Very explosive jumps. Jump inside to a horse stance. Immediately into a jump outside, landing in a horse stance.
strong overall performance from Suraj. We'll have to see how the judges score. Really powerful execution of movements. Again, that overall B score is what we're looking at. Nine point seven three zero. That's an extremely strong score. Currently, though, in the bar that has been set thus far, that's good for sixth place. All right, up next we have a athlete from Brazil, Marcio de Oliveira Coutinho. Outside 540. Holds that balance. Jump front kick aerial. Right into a jump inside 360. Landing in a horse stance. Back to back difficulties. Going into a jump outside kick. Again here's where he has to push. He has to keep that momentum moving. Really showcase his talent and speed. Throughout this routine. Strong finish by Marcio. We'll have to see what his score was. Final score, 9.340. We see a couple of group A deductions for a loss of balance, kicking below shoulder level. Looks like one of his stances got deducted, giving him a 4.70 out of his group A out of a potential 5.0. And our next athlete is up from Team Mexico, Luis Caratruda de Jesus. Jump outside 540. Jump front kick into a cross sitting stance. Jump front kick aerial to a jump inside. Landing in a horse stance. Back to back difficulties. Trying to make sure he collects all those group C points. Solid drop stance there. Nice clean aerial. And there's that empty stance. Finish us off.
Great performance by Team Mexico. Final score, 9.463. All right, we've got our next athlete here from Belgium, Jill Lemenik. Outside. Looks like he missed that slap on that jump outside. Jump front kick to a jump inside. Good performance from our athlete from Belgium. Just waiting on that final score. 7.706. See a series of A and C deductions for loss of balance, multiple kicking below shoulder levels, and some stance deductions. All right, we got our athlete here up from Spain, Jose Javier Castro Moreno. And he looks like he's one of our taller athletes that we've seen here, which could potentially put him at a disadvantage because he will be taking up more of that carpet space. And it definitely makes it a lot more difficult for your gait as you're approaching your difficulties. Doesn't seem to be bothering Jose, however, great execution on his difficulty routine.
Looks like he's used to this kind of carpet. He's actually just recently competed at the 2023 FISU Games in Chengdu, China. And he's been practicing Wushu since the age of 12. Solid performance from Jose Javier Castro Moreno of Spain. Final score, 9.383 for Jose. Okay, our next athlete is coming in from Brunei, Walid Lakhar. Very strong opening. Here we see him setting up for his opening difficulties. Butterfly twist. To a jump inside 540 to horse dance. Huge jump. Jump front kick aerial into a jump inside split. Jump outside, 540 to horse dance. Very impressive. Walid is definitely showing the world that he wants a spot in the top three. Aerial twist. He's pulling out all the stops, really trying to raise the level of difficulty in his jumps. He's also had some practice as well this year. He did compete in the 2023 Southeast Asian Games. And now he's here on the world stage. That was a solid performance. We'll have to see if it was enough. To break into the top three, he's got a best 9.786. We'll have to see how the judges score it. And final score, 9.79. <laughs> Putting him into second place, a well-earned second place. He pushes that top three even tighter of a gap. And our next competitor is from Chile. Hector Miguel Toledo prepares to take the floor. Jump outside 360, he prepares for his first sequence of jumps. Jump front stretch kick to a jump inside, landing in a horse stance. Looks like he's going for another sequence. Jump inside, 540 to horse stance. 
to a jump front kick, cross sitting stance. All right, solid finish for our athlete from Chile. Let's wait for that final score, 8.730. Our next athlete coming on from France, Lone Gerard. We've seen Lone compete earlier, really strong competitor. Very powerful. Really fast opening sequence. Jump front kick sitting stance to start us off. Here's his opening sequence. Butterfly twist with the staff to a jump inside 720 split. Beautiful. You definitely can tell he has practiced this a lot. In fact, he's actually been practicing Wushu since the age of nine and a half. And as a special note, every year he does go to China to train. Well, it's definitely paying off. You can tell in just his level of experience, speed, and power. He's got to maintain that intensity if he wants to get into the top three. Bar set really high. Jump front kick aerial. Home stretch. Closing out their cryo stances. Empty stance to bow stance. Drop stance, look at that flexibility. That's the exclamation point on that routine. We'll see if that does it. That's got potential. We'll have to see how the judges score it. Amazing performance from Lone. All right, final score 9.786. Just shy of breaking into the top, he currently sits in fourth. Nine point seven eight six. If is a phenomenal score, it just goes to show you, Kyle. I mean, these athletes are pushing the envelope in terms of rankings to break into that top three really takes a lot. You know, order really doesn't matter here, whether you're the first athlete, 15th athlete, 30th athlete, you can easily get moved around or even be put in the top three. Oh. 
Current athlete on the floors from Team Brazil, Everson Pereira de Silva. Ooh, that was very unique. It's always nice to see athletes add their own flavor to their form. And with this many athletes, you do need to stick out as much as you can. That's right. Anything that you can do that gives you an edge or helps you stand out could potentially help. Solid performance for our athlete from Brazil. Final score, 9.116. It's really great to see the development of Wushu in Central and South America, Kyle. All over the world. We've got so many athletes here, Central, South America, Europe, Asia. It's really becoming a worldwide phenomenon. All right, we have a athlete from Argentina, Christian Arturo Carrizo Guerra. Jump front kick to a jump inside 360 to horse dance landing. Final section, butterfly into a cross-sitting stance. Christian looking to close out his routine. Empty stance into drop stance. That's Christian Guerra from Argentina. Got a solid finish and let's wait for the final score. Final score, 8.140. Okay, we have an athlete here from Great Britain, Zach Ladkin.
Jump outside, slight loss of balance in the torso. He was able to recover though. He held on to the landing. We'll see how the judges score it. Good recovery. Some unique staff work there. Definitely trying to mix it up. Still waiting on that final score. Looks like we might have a slight technical difficulty over at the judges' table. Got our athlete here from Great Britain anxiously awaiting his score. On deck we have Nathan Lee of the United States. Sack's final score, 9.036. All right, coming in for the United States, we have Nathan Lee. And you can hear the crowd behind cheering for him. Really fast opening wow. sequence immediately into an aerial split. Nathan Lee showing that this carpet is his. Setting up for another difficulty. 
Jump outside, looked like a 720. Solid landing in that horse stance. Outside kick to horse stance. Now here's where speed comes into play. He's got to maintain intensity. You know, Mario, I've seen Nathan compete in many tournaments, and he's always a top contender, and he is still proving to do his best on this stage. Closing out his routine with his required stances. Really intricate closeout. We'll stand by for the judges' score. Strong performance from Nathan Lee of the United States. Nine point four seven three. Looks like there was that one code 70 deduction for that loss of balance in the A score. Looks like that also hurt his C score with the landing, giving him a 1.85 for his overall level of difficulty out of a potential 2.0. Just shows you just any little minor mistake could cost you points. All right, up next we have an athlete from Spain, Nestor Uzenqui Mia. Jump inside a horse stance, lands that. Oh, another staff throw. Oh, but he does miss that catch. And that's the risk reward factor right there, Kyle. All right, great performance from our athlete from Spain. Final score, 8.876. Up next, we have an athlete from Chile, Ariel Nilton Mancila Barrientos. Got a butterfly twist. 
Slight loss of balance in that horse stance landing. Still very strong with his staff work in those slams. Jump front kick aerial. Kyle, in previous worlds, I would see a lot of athletes front load their difficulties to try to get them out of the way. And here the competition is so fierce. I feel like athletes feel obligated to spread those out to try to demonstrate a higher level of difficulty to even be competitive. At the same time, that is a great risk to you being tired towards the end of your form. Absolutely. Takes a lot more energy to do those like halfway through towards the end of your routine. You don't have the focus and fresh endurance to be able to execute it. All right, solid clean finish. Final score, 9.11. We're down to our final four athletes in this men's staff division. Still any chance for any of these athletes to take into the top three. The bar's been set really high, but there's still an opportunity. We've seen it in other divisions. Athletes come into the tail end of the division and take a medal home. All right, here we have Indonesia, Saraf Naro Siagar. Very strong athlete in his own right. He's our silver medalist in long fist. I'm sure he'd love to take another medal home. Look at that strong opening. Really fast beginning, setting up for his first difficulty. Jump outside, okay. 720, huge air. Here's his first sequence, jump front kick, aerial. To a jump inside, 360 to horse stance, textbook landing. He's just gotta get through these difficulties, Kyle. And now he's just gotta keep his speed and momentum going. From what I see, it looks like that's gonna be a piece of cake for him. This is what's gonna make or break this form. He's executing the remainder of his routine with speed and intensity. Very unique staff work. He's got a best a 9.793 to break into the top three. He might be able to do it. He's just got to keep this up. Closing out the routine with those required stances. Beautiful start, beautiful finish. Right down to the bitter end. Stayed strong throughout that entire performance. I it's, don't know, Mario. I think we may have someone in the new top three. It's all in the judges' hands now. Remember, 9.793 he'll need to best to break into the top three. 9.823 pushes him into second place. A well-earned second place. And he pushes the rankings even tighter down to our final three competitors. Up next we have Italy, Mattia Di Maria.
Jump inside a horse stance, holds that. Jump front slot to cross sitting stance. Very controlled staff work. Six is preparing for a toss. I got another one. And he catches it. Solid empty stance to finish us off. All right, great performance from Mattia Di Maria of Italy. Now we'll wait for the final score. Final score, 9.523. We're down to our final two competitors. Our next competitor is from Japan, Ibuki Takagi. A seasoned competitor from junior championships. Been training for a very long time. It's not over yet, Kyle. There's still room at the top. You never know what can change in this game here. That's a great start already. Opening difficulty. Jump outside, 720. Perfect landing. Opening sequence, jump front kick aerial to a jump inside. Split landing. Jump outside. Solid staff work, great speed. Butterfly kick. Japan showing that they are a strong contender here as well. Strong finish by Ibuki. We'll have to see what the judges call is. This has been a battle to the bitter end. Nine point one three six. It looks like, unfortunately, they did not count his first difficulty, giving him a 1.35 out of a potential 2.0. Looked like that 720 didn't count. Might have been the rotation. It's hard to tell. Still a very strong performance, valiant effort. And we're on to our final competitor from Malaysia. Sue Clement Ting. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your bronze broadsword medalist and your bronze long fist medalist. I'm sure he would love to take home another medal for Malaysia. Kyle, I'm on the edge of my seats. 
I'm ready to watch this one. I feel like we've been here in this position again, <laughs> right to the bitter end. We might have another strong contender here. Blazing fast opening. Listen to the sound of that staff. Jump outside, 720. Jump front kick aerial. Jump inside. Jump outside, 540. He just floats up there. Now if he can maintain that speed, he can do it. Potentially one of his final events. He's just got to go all out and just leave everything on the carpet. From what I see, it looks like he definitely is. He's on the home stretch, just has to keep this up. Closing out his routine with his required stances. Really sharp ending. I don't know. Kyle, that was really strong. Probably one of the strongest performances we've seen. Is it good enough for top three though? That's the real question. You know what, it definitely could be. That was a very strong performance. And he was our last. Wow. 9.803. He takes the full sweep. Bronze long fist, bronze broadsword, and bronze in staff. Great job from all our athletes. I'm sure Sue is extremely happy to be taking home a medal in every single event in this men's staff event. We'll see as the scores update. Joe and Siwei from Singapore taking the gold. Saraf from Indonesia taking the silver. And, and Siwei Clementing from Malaysia taking home the bronze. Congratulations to today's medalists. Please stand by for the award ceremony. It's been a nail biting three days so far, and we're still not done. We still have one full day of events tomorrow so be sure to check back tomorrow on wushu tv make sure to follow us on all of our social media account 16th world wushu championships facebook 16th wwc instagram this is mario martinez and i'm kyle wong signing off have a good night everyone enjoy
woman stand up. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the HYX 16th World Wushu Championships Men's Gunshu Victory Ceremony will now begin. Let's welcome the medalists to the podium with a warm round of applause. The medals will be presented by Mr. Ang Mong Sung, IWF Treasurer. The mascots will be presented by Mr. C.P. Ong, USA WKF Executive Vice President. The bronze medalist representing Malaysia is Ting Su Wei Clement. Congratulations, let's give another big round of applause for the medalists.
Ladies and gentlemen, the HYX 16th World Wushu Championships Women's Daoshu Victory Ceremony will now begin. Let's welcome the medalists to the podium with a warm round of applause. The medals will be presented by Mr. Chon Kim Fat, IWF Executive Board member. The mascots will be presented by Miss Lu Shaolin, USA WKF Vice President. The bronze medalist representing Vietnam is Hoang Thi Quang Giang. The silver medalist representing Malaysia is Lo Ying Ting. The gold medalist representing the People's Republic of China is Liu Xin. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of People's Republic of China. Ladies and gentlemen, the HYX 16th World Wushu Championships Men's Changshu Victory Ceremony will now begin. Let's welcome the medalists to the podium with a warm round of applause. The medals will be presented by Mr. Walt Missingham, IWF Vice President. The mascots will be presented by Mr. Lee Shudong, USA WKF Vice President. The bronze medalist representing Indonesia is Mohamed Dafa Golden.
the silver medalist representing Malaysia is Wong Wang Song. The gold medalist representing People's Republic of China is Zhang Qin Chun. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of People's Republic of China. Congratulations, let's give another big round of applause for the medalists. That concludes the victory ceremony. The upcoming competition events in session seven will be held tomorrow at 9 a.m. Again, USA, volunteers, athletes, officials, members of the local organizing committee, please come to field of play two for a group photo. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.